Hello everyone and welcome to another video with some Toon Boom tips. This one I'm going to talk a little bit about how you disconnect lines. So it's a bit of a drawing tip. It's really got nothing to do with this animation. This is just something to kind of keep you interested whilst I talk over the top. We're going to talk about how we detach lines. When you've made those perfect connections, it can be a bit annoying. Things can move around and be stuck together. So it's more about editing your artwork. Here we go. When you've drawn something which is um, you know, nicely connected up, and let me just turn, press K, toggle the strokes, I'm just zooming in here. Um, this is all nicely connected up, but that can be really annoying if you want to edit it because that thing is now like locked in. So you can click the, the black selection arrow and maybe move this around. Sometimes it drags this point around if you want to adjust this, this point with the white contour arrow. You get this like three point star system thing. This can be a real pain to deal with. So how do you basically disconnect this? Well, let's get straight into it. There's a couple of ways of doing it. There's a difference between the black selection arrow and this white contour editor arrow. So the white contour editor is going to select certain parts and you can see it highlighting it there. So if I zoom in here, select this part and just press delete, it's going to delete from vector point to vector point. That might not be what you want. Maybe you just want to delete a little bit. Let's zoom in on this side here. You want to delete just a little point here. You could use the cutter tool. You should always try the select tool, really. So here for me, if I want to move this whole piece, maybe that's going to work for me. But maybe I just want to kind of like create a new point in here and, you know, just reattach it or something's gone messy in here. Maybe I've got far too many points in this area and I just need to sort it all out. How do I, how do I correct this? How do I sort out this mess? Well, Pressing K to toggle the strokes on and off is going to help you just to see what exactly is going on and how they're connected, even when the line isn't selected. The next thing you could do is use the cutter tool. You could just crop out everything that you don't need. Sometimes that's not always an option if you want to keep the path itself. I mean the, the line itself, you don't want to change that. You can use the white contour editor in that, um, in that scenario, and you could maybe zoom in. Zooming is going to be your friend here because you can zoom right in and between this point here and all these points, I'm just dragging and selecting and pressing delete. That simplified it massively. So obviously I've only got a few points, but you might have several hundred depending on how shaky your hand is or how the line work's been created. You can just delete these off. And if we want to kind of go right in here and detach something and just reattach it, zoom right in, hold down Control or Command on a Mac, create a new point, click the tiny little gap in the middle, and then delete it. So I'm just going to delete that point as well because I don't actually need that point there. Um, let's just pull it back out a bit. But basically now if I zoom right in on both sides, Control click delete that tiny little gap. You see how it's not actually making any difference to the line itself because I zoomed so far in. But now if I click the black selection arrow, if that had all been attached up, now I can move it on its own. And when I select this line, or this point in this corner, I'm only going to get those two points again. I don't get that weird try sort of uh, point handle system. So zooming in and out with the with the combination of the black selection arrow, the white contour editor, you can use the cutter. It's a bit of a kind of a hammer to the situation, but it can work if you've really messed it up. And then just um, kind of refining, control clicking, adding points. You can obviously select any point and just press delete with the white contour editor, and that will help you simplify. And that's how I personally would tidy up those, those kind of intersecting areas of your line work. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully it's been useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Got loads more useful tips and tricks coming for you and plenty more in the library already. If you subscribe, you get a little notification when we post a new one. Who knows, maybe it'll save you 10 minutes. Maybe it'll save you an hour. Maybe you'll become a genius from the knowledge that's being dispelled. Maybe not, but um, hopefully it's gonna gradually help you out here and there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video.